inflation is skyrocketing while growth prospects are continuing to deteriorate. This is the central assessment from Eurozone finance ministers who were locked in talks trying to find solutions today. Their first consideration? Inflation is here to stay. It's true that the crisis in Ukraine, the impact, the supply shocks uh, and all the se corollary, the secondary effects are here to stay for longer than we had hoped or uh, anticipated. So it's also a fact that inflation levels will certainly be with us at a high level next year. That's what we, we understand. And, and we need to take this into account. It's a fact of life. The second consideration, there's a real risk of gas shortages next winter if Russia continues to cut supplies. The European Commission is working on a contingency plan, but already 42% of inflation is due to energy prices. What could change the situation we are in and bring us in a more difficult economic situation uh, are um, supply cuts and uh, real shortages of supply. This could change a picture that for the time being is a picture of very limited, reduced and slowed down growth. Third consideration, the euro, the EU's common currency, has lost value against the dollar with both currencies nearly at parity. The last time this happened was 20 years ago. According to MEP Luis Garacano, it's time for the European Central Bank to act. We see an ECB which seems to be hampered, which is to be the, the hands are, are tied. Um, it's fighting with hands tied behind its back because it's afraid of causing a euro crisis, afraid of causing debt problems in some of its members. There are many governors coming from countries that have excessive debts. So everybody feels the ECB, the equilibrium for the ECB is just to let uh, time pass and not to really take very much action. And that's, of course, signals higher inflation in Europe and a lower and a weaker Europe. So with this picture in mind, the main objective is to avoid a European-wide recession, although it's not something that anyone can rule out. Shona Murray, Euronews, Brussels.